Stand by. It's not rolling. It's not rolling. Good morning. Today is Tuesday, February 9th, 2016. I'm Kurt Owen. A building that collapsed during last week's earthquake in Taiwan has some unique flaws. We've got the details. And I'm Chris Ivey. How dangerous are donuts? Depends on how you get to the donut shop. Your citizen news starts now. Seniors, it's FAFSA time. Need assistance with your FAFSA or have any questions about FAFSA? Bring your parents, if possible, and come out tomorrow night, Tuesday, February 9th, from 6 to 8 p.m. to the NHS Library. Your counselors, along with university and other professional tax support, will be there to help you. And parents, don't miss the important e evening in getting your FAFSA done. The science team, 1080, is holding an Italian dinner, silent auction fundraiser on Friday. March 4th in the cafeteria. Tickets are $10 per person or $30 per family of four. Talk to Mr. Anderson or any science team member if interested. There will be a meeting for anyone interested in playing tennis this spring, Thursday at 2.45 p.m. in the cafeteria. Don't miss out. And there will be a Leo Club party in room 674 this Thursday after school. Bring food to share. The next Skills USA meeting will be today at 2.45 p.m. in Mr. Babcock's room. 410. Also, FCCLA will, be, will meet right after school today as well. FCCLA will be doing yearbook pictures and working on Valentine Cookie Graham fundraiser. The annual 2016 movie trailer high school video contest from CapEd is on. Submission deadline is April 4th. Thousand grand prize cash prizes will be awarded to the top three entrants and their schools. The top 10 entries will be shown on big screen at the award ceremony. For complete contest rules, visit caped.com slash video contest. We'll be right back after this. Drivers, remember, winter driving is not just a snow day. You need to be prepared for the worst. Here are a few tips to help you stay safe. Remember to allow extra stopping distance in between cars. Pack emergency supplies like a blanket, water, and flares. Always keep traction sand in case you get stuck in the snow. With these tips in mind, you can stay safe this winter. Today's weather is brought to you by Dr. Kim Keller. Your smile is your first impression. Make it a good one and visit Dr. Keller today. Well, we hope you're all having a good day today. Um, today is a high of 46. It's going to be sunny with a low of 27. And tomorrow is going to be cloudy with a high of 47 and a low of 28. Back to you, Owen. Thank you, Chris. The Taiwanese government has ordered an investigation into the collapse of high-rise buildings. As an image emerged showing tin cans built into the walls of the toppled complex, emergency workers came across the tin cans during the rescue operation. Taiwan State News Agency, Central News Agency reported, they appear to have used uh, construction fillers and beams. The death toll from Saturday magnitude 6.4 quake reached 39, with the majority at least 24 from the building. Efforts are underway to find 118 people still missing. Well, a man has died after starting a relay race in which contestants are supposed to eat a dozen Krispy Kreme donuts midway through the competition. Organizers of the annual Krispy Kreme Challenge said in news release that a 58-year-old man dropped out of the race during the first mile Saturday morning because of his chest pains. He was pronounced dead at a nearby hospital. The unidentified runner left the race before reaching Krispy Kreme location, at which some competitors eat a dozen donuts before completing the final two and a half miles of the five-mile course. Today's SAT word of the day is precedence, um, which means initial ruling that sets a standard preceding example. You could use it this way. The judge com combed through legal records for a days, but could find no precedence in for the usual case she was about to decide. Thanks for watching. Remember, if the news breaks, we'll, we'll fix, fix it. it.